guy. You'll be civil, right? Oh, even civilized. I made fettuccine. Alex is on a gluten-restricted diet. I told you that. Did you? You want me to punch him out? Yes. Okay. I made a mistake going upstairs with you, but Dean, you made more than a mistake. You made a choice. An important distinction. Well, yeah, because this whole thing belongs on Mr. Evil's conscience. And your conscience? I said no, so how could I feel responsible? You've stopped blaming yourself. Yeah, I have. Excellent progress and we'll keep working on it. Same time next week. Miss Sauve, therapy is great, but I strongly recommend we continue. I'll pencil you in anyway. Pencil away, but it is a waste of an appointment. I'm over this. Complete toxicology breakdown of the mess samples you provided. We found two different types. As in two different dealers? Well, that would be your department. But I can tell you this, sample A is a higher end meth. Takes you for a ride, it'll mess you up, it won't kill you. Sample B, the cheaper version, full of nasties, gets you higher faster, then grabs your heart like a pit bull and game over. Sound familiar? I don't know what you guys think. You think I'm here for your personal entertainment? Yeah. Pardon? We keep this place afloat. We might as well own every body and everything in the joint. Give me another drink. You see, I get no respect from a waitress that can't pour a decent pint. That's how educated she is. Okay, Ed. You're right. Sorry. You are so right. I am gonna pour you the best pint you've ever seen in your life. You don't have the sense to let it settle, Chrissy. Well, I guess we're gonna have to let this one sit, won't we? If you'd only listen to me, you'd pour the perfect pint every time. There we go. Is that the way you like it? Too flat. Oh, come on. Mm. It's good. It's just perfect. Just the way you like it. Come on, have a sip. Come on, just take a sip. Come on. Mm. Oh. Look what you did, you fucking bitch! Gonna do that. I had a mop around here somewhere. I don't know where it went. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I'm so worried. I wasted your time. No. You'll talk when you're ready. But recognizing that you need to talk and not cut, that's a big first step. So, tomorrow? How long had he been out here? I'd say he'd been dead two to four hours. Any chance it was an accident? No way, he was plugged to death. Repeated blows. There was a lot of bark and splinter in the head wounds. And his money belt was empty. Well, if it was a piece of wood, all I'd have to do is toss it in the river, halfway to the airstrips by now. Yeah. Where does that path lead? Uh, to the burial site. That's where the tourists are going. Well, where was Francis going? Just for a walk way out here? I, d I didn't even know she had a brother. We need to find him, Kim. Well, I, I, don't, I don't know who he is. I don't know where he went. How did you meet Christy? I was working the street up north, some small place, Bruce Falls, and uh, a couple bikers were running the show. You know, but they were really mean. 
really rough, you know. Anyway, I met Christy in the bar, and she talked me into getting out of there. She just took an interest in you? Yeah. She was like that, looking after girls. Not just me, others too. So she told you about Dexter House? Yeah. It was supposed to be better, higher class, and... But Helmet, you know, at first you think he's like Mr. Caring or something, but he had a real cruel side. Cold.